Hi loves, welcome to another sewing tutorial on leaves. My name is Olivia. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome and if you are an oldie, you are welcome back as well. I'll share with you how to make boning channels on bassiers and corsets, especially how to make them with your own fabric. That means without using bias like something I have here, you would want to be able to create your own boning channel with a particular material of your choice. So if you are interested in anything like this, if you are interested, keep on watching. I'll be making Bastia corsets and these are all the parts. I'll go ahead and join them together. This is how it looks after joining and we'll be fixing the bone along these parts. For the length of the strap, measure the longest part of your Bastia or cap corset. This is the longest so i'm going to measure it it's a curved area so whatever i get i'm going to add one inch it's better to have more than to have less when you are done you can just trim it off okay we have different types of bone this is a regilene bone and all the types come in different sizes so we also have plastic bone and this is how the plastic bone looks like so these are the two types that are mostly used with these two i don't know if you can tell but one is wider than the other so the width of your strap will depend on your bone so i'm going to use this type of bone which is of half inch so you wrap it around or you can just double the width that you have So you can wrap it and try to move the tape measure up and down to see if you can be able to insert the bone. Okay, so this is one inch. Add allowance of half inch. So that is a total of one and half. So that will be the width of the strap you cut. So if you want the other size of the regilene bone, you measure the same way this is about a bar less than half inch always make sure you do not have the width of your strap wider than your bone if you do that anytime you wear the garment the bone will tend to have liberty to twist which is very bad okay now same goes to the plastic bone measure around if you have a plastic bone you realize that this plastic bone has thickness the regilin bone is flat but this is thick so you need to measure around to include the thickness of the bone okay and afterwards add allowance for sewing the bones are supposed to be inserted as it is okay do not turn it the other way around before inserting these are the markings for the strap with one and half width and I've gone ahead to cut them out. Cut as many as you use, okay? Fold your strap into two equal parts, right sides facing. Okay, we are going to stitch and turn inside out. So the right sides facing and then you stitch with quarter of an inch you know the total allowance we use was half so half of half quarter so stitch quarter of an inch and this is how my looks like turn inside out and give it a good press this is how it looks and we are going to stitch it along this path okay and before we do that we insert the bone and the bone should be one inch longer than the width you measured initially okay so half inch down half inch up for allowance you do not have to stitch your bone together with the allowance okay so exclude that and knitting the edge for safety reason just knitting the edge with masking tape
insert the bone into the strap and while doing that make sure you leave the half an inch so the bone should stop before the half an inch allowance same applies to the bottom part of your strap repeat the same process for the other side Since you've inserted the bone into the strap, I'll just refer to it as bone, okay? So place your bone, make sure it is still half inch above and below. Place it on the starting point like this. Stitch one side In case you realize your bone is longer, cut some of it and remember to put the masking tape back Also stitch the other side. Repeat the same process for this side as well. If you want to insert the plastic bone, stitch and turn your strap and place it along the path you want to stitch, okay? Just place it like this, say this middle part. You place it this way and you stitch both sides down before you insert the plastic bone. You know, the plastic bone is not stitchable, so there is no way you will stitch together with the strap. So, you need to stitch stitch both sides of the strap down before you can insert now the edge is sharp so you can use nail file at the edge or you can also use a lighter to melt the edge and you do this on both ends okay before you insert into the channel okay i've marked few more lines and i will attach the bone along those lines okay i'll go ahead and do all of that and we'll continue with another method you can also have your straps together with the right sides out that means you will not turn the strap inside out okay you are just going to use it straightforward but when you fold it, you need to keep the edge in place, okay? So, mark wherever you want your line to be. However you want your boning channels to be, create the lines. Place the edge of your strap 
along the line like this and let's assume we want to stitch okay so i'll just pin it this way and while stitching you stitch with quarter of an inch that's the allowance you left so you stitch and then you turn and before you do that you can also insert the bone and stitch on the other side okay so you stitch close to the edge this method is also good for the plastic bone when you stitch the allowance you turn it this way stitch the edge and then you insert the bone okay I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If yes, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share to a friend who may also like to learn, turn on your post notification bell so anytime I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you so much for always watching. I'll see you in the next one.